to today's video. So for today, I thought I would take us on a little mini trip to Prince, uh, to Prince Edward Island, but unfortunately, that'd be a lot of money to send all of you guys and myself to PEI, but that's okay, because I'm bringing PEI to you guys. So this video is going to be a haul of everything I got while I was in PEI. And now, let's get on to the video. So as some of you may know, I went to Prince Edward Island last summer, and for those of you that are brand new to the channel, hi, I'm Bree, and I went to Prince Edward Island last summer for a family vacation to visit family that I have down in Prince Edward Island, and I thought I would show you some of the little souvenirs that I got while I was down there. So the first thing I'm going to show you is the sand. And fun fact about Prince Edward Island is that their sand is red. So you're probably wondering, uh, why is the sand red? Like, what? What? what, what how? Well, let me tell you. When the sand, when the soil and all that, and the, when the soil and the sandstone are both exposed to the air, they, they get that red color. So that, I hope I explained that right. I had it on a slideshow of a fun fact of why sand was red. I had to do it for school. And I, yeah, it's when the sandstone and the soil are both exposed to the air and then gets that red color. So I will show you guys the sand. So that's the sand. That's red. I collected two bottles of sand. So that's some of the sand. I don't know if you guys can see it, but that's the sand. I filled a whole container full of sand. So that's one container of sand that I got. Then I have another container of sand. It's a lot softer. As you can, woo. So it's the same color. That's what it looks like. Uh, I'll pick up the camera and I'll show you guys. So that's the second bottle of red sand that I got. And then while I was in PEI, I also collected some sea, uh, some, I can't really, sea shells. So I'm gonna close the containers on the sand real quick and then I will show you guys the shells. Um, question for you guys, have you guys ever traveled to Prince Edward Island or anywhere down there? If you have, leave a comment down below and also what you did there. Did you go there for fun? Did you go there to visit family? Let me know. And so now I'm gonna show you guys some shells that I found. So this is one of the shells that I found. Some of the shells were in pieces, some of them were still together, and the majority of my shells still has sand on them. I don't know if you guys can see, but there's still sand on this one. This one's a pretty blue one. And then I found a piece of shell right here. So I've got a whole hunk of sand right there. So this is part of a shell. Again, some of the shells were broken apart. Here's another cool shell that I thought was pretty cool. Looks like a little snail shell, or a little crab shell. Here's a close up of it. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but this is the shell. There's the inside, and that's what it looks like. There was lots of these shells on the beach. And another cool shell that I found, I found a clam shell. It's go part of it's broken off, but that's the clam shell. And then this is the inside of the clam shell. And another big shell I found was this one. They had some pretty big ones down there. This one's like a uh, orange color, like a rusty orange color. And then another cool shell that I found. Let's see if I can find another one in here. Uh, let's see if I can find one. Ah, here's one. Here's another shell that I found. Uh, like, I kid you not, guys, like me and my two cousins that went to PEI with their grandmother, between the three of us, we had about 
six bags full of shells. Like, it was insane how many shells we found. And then I found a piece of this shell. Has a little bit of coral on it. So, I don't even know if this is a shell or not. I think it is. If not, it's a piece of coral that I found. It's a blue color. And that's the inside of, of it. Right there. And let me show you guys one more. Um, let's see if I can find a really cool one. If I can find... Oh, here's another one. Sorry, some I forgot to empty the sand out of most of my shells. Here's another little crab shell. There's another one. As you can see, it's still full of sand. Still full of sand. I hope to go to PEI again sometime. That would be pretty cool to go back again. But anyway, that's it for this PEI haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. If you want to see more hauls, then leave a comment down below on what haul you would like to see next. And as always, our Instagram and my Twitter are linked down below for you guys to go and follow. I think I... Yes, our Instagram and my Twitter are both linked down below for you guys to go and follow. And that's a wrap on this video. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.